Hello everyone, and here is some amazingly crazy good news as we start 2020. The Golden Globes, which will air this Sunday, are going vegan this year, fully plant-based. And even the star's off-camera buffet is going to be vegan. So I heard this news today, someone sent it to me, and now I just heard it on the television as well. So I wanted to do a video because this is some great news, obviously, to start the new year. So this picture here, while it looks like, what do you call those things, clams? <laughs> not clams, but scallops, sorry. I remember, I'm not a shellfish eater. Um, these are king oyster mushrooms. King oyster mushroom scallops with a wild mushroom risotto and Brussels sprouts. So it sounds like this was going to be one of the dishes. So forget Chilean, Chilean sea bass. This year, the party of the year is going vegan. So the 70, 77th annual Golden Globes, which recognizes the best in film and television, will serve its A-list guests a 100% plant-based dinner. It's the first major awards show to go entirely meatless. Then again, it's also the first major award so of, this, of the season. So 2019, we know, was amazing for vegan progress. And this is, you know, a, another sign that 2020 is going to be even better. The vegan mandate includes the hidden from camera buffets tables set up near the open bars where many of the late arriving famous get their sustenance. So with a lot of stars hanging out on the red carpet or in the lobby or not even showing up until right before showtime and the dinner service whisked away by servers before the show starts, much of the formal chow never makes it to the guests, but the off-camera piles of turkey sandwiches and chunks of cheese will be gone to be replaced by meatless, dairy-free choices. What I'm hoping is that we hear something about this. If people say, you know what, it was fantastic, I didn't mind it, or are we going to hear some grumbling? But it would be really nice to get some feedback. Now, I think it's the Beverly Hilton. Yes, what they said on the news was that the Hilton was not so thrilled to have to accommodate this change so close to uh, the award ceremony, but they are going ahead with it. And you know what? Any major hotel catering company should be able to provide vegan options. The world has changed. Let's not make it a big deal. If they said they didn't want salmon and they wanted chicken, I don't think the hotel would be complaining. But to go from meat-based to something that's satisfying as, you know, vegan, plant-based, that's where they're going to struggle. So let's hope it, it, it turns out well. So over the holidays, we took time to reflect on the last year and began thinking about the new year and the decade ahead, uh, said the president of Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Uh, the climate crisis is impossible to ignore. And after speaking with our peers and friends in the community, we felt challenged to do better. Oh, yes, finally. We see some connection between climate change and diet. Yes, it seems to be so overlooked. But, you know, maybe thanks to Greta Thunberg, people are making the connection. So the decision to serve an entirely plant-based meal was embraced by our partners at the Beverly Hilton, although they did grumble about it to start. So this year's menu will include a chilled golden beet soup appetizer followed by a main course of king oyster mushroom scallops no actual scallops involved and wild mushroom risotto along with carrots and roasted baby purple and green brussels sprouts although dinners at the globes have been gluten-free for a while now they've definitely not been vegan last year's menu included sea bass and vegetables and a flourless chocolate cake topped with amaretto cream cheese vegetarians got a stuffed honey nut squash with hummus rainbow chard um chickpeas, quinoa, raisins, and sunflower sprouts. And the 2018 menu for meat eaters also featured sea bass. They're just talking about filet mignon in 2017. So the decision to go plant-based this year was met with some initial resistance. This is the, oh, it's a golden beet soup. Because I look at that and I didn't even see it said golden. It reminds me of butternut squash soup. And... People were basically saying it's too late. We, we are already with all the orders, the holidays and all that. Um, but after we began discussions meeting for one or two days with the Beverly Hilton, they completely accepted the change. They started to experiment with how to do plant-based meals. That was not just their symbolic steps, thank you, but something that guests will enjoy. And if you can't do it, bring on people who can, because it can be done, as we know. So that was that was uh, the LA Times article. Now, this one is a Hollywood reporter. So again, they're showing here the beautiful golden beet uh, soup. And it just says the awards show first ever plant-based menu is part of a larger sustainability push by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. So please continue making that connection between the environment and diet. 
it you know some people don't go vegan for for the animals but they will for their health or they will for the environment and you know the more people eating meatless the better it is so i'm just gonna skim this here so okay golden beach soup locally grown uh Cherville and amaranth and a main dish of king oyster mushrooms cooked and presented to call to mind scallops yeah they definitely look like scallops um so they had the menu with fish but okay obviously we know they changed that so here we don't think we'll change the world with one meal but we decided to take small steps to bring awareness the food we eat the way it's processed and grown and disposed of all of that contributes to the climate crisis the proof though will be in the flavors morgan says he was a bit daunted creating a risotto without parmesan cheese for soria he's italian so he was a little skeptical that we could pull it off but soria's take i have to say it's delicious so it just says here as well, I missed this part, the climate crisis is surrounding us and we were thinking about the new year. And the, okay, I read that part before. So the other thing is they, there, there's also going to be a push to limit plastics and they want to reuse the red carpet at uh, future events. So, you know, they're thinking about sustainability and, you know, like zero waste might be a stretch. But in, ter in terms of reusing things, so we don't have to keep making things and just throwing them out so it's a mindfulness towards climate issues in general uh obviously nothing here about the animals but uh, that's okay the entire golden globes is going vegan this year and this is fantastic guys let me know your thoughts and you know this is my first video of the year so i want to say happy new year to everyone i have my what i ate at christmas video i'm going to put up hopefully by tomorrow and of course lots of more great videos coming for you guys in the future happy new year let's hope that 2020 is a even bigger and better year for veganism all right guys that's all for now thanks so much for watching